I loved knowing the impact of what public policy can do. Make sure all the logistics are right on target. I think Joe's passion for public service and her direction in her career does come a little bit from our experience growing up in Casper. We were surrounded by people who participated in the community all the time. We were introduced to that at an early age. Building public policy is a public process for a reason. Is there any follow-up? You are building solutions to problems. She's a tough lady. You see this person who seems to make it look easy. Joe's mission in life is to help as many people as she can by her advocacy. She is everything anyone would ever have hoped. And I couldn't be prouder of Joe Donnelly. Public service really came into my life when I was an intern at the Wyoming Legislature. And a family friend, Tom Sturka, asked me to be his intern. He let me do so much, and I worked so hard, was so scared, learned so much, and had so much fun. And I loved it. A week before college graduation, I was all finished with classes, and graduation was in about a week. And some friends and I decided to go uh, to Lake Powell. Drove down there. It was a very short trip. I wasn't at Lake Powell as long as it took me to drive to Lake Powell. It was hot. I wanted to go swimming. I walked through the houseboat to the back of the boat, dove off the back. hit the bottom of the lake and broke my neck. I remember the sun was shining on me. I remember that I was very scared. It was a split second. Instant spinal cord injury, instantly became a quadriplegic. We had to reach out to everyone and make a plan for who could get to Joe. That was our goal. Who could get there the fastest to be by her side most immediately. We were just a mess. I mean, we were crying and, and, and angry and scared. When we got there, the doctor was very frank. He said, look, this is what happens when you have a spinal cord injury that's this severe. It's like a piece of celery. And imagine a piece of celery and you take a big sledgehammer and you hit it with a hammer. I had no idea what my life was gonna be. What do you do? Where do you go? Do you get surgery? Do you, we had no idea. You do start to take a different path and you begin to understand that you are in this for the long haul. And so we started down that road. We started talking to people, and of course, people in Denver were like, hey, what about Craig? I couldn't believe Craig was so close by, and then I wasn't aware of how wonderful it was. The minute you arrive at Craig, you're moving. You're busy. So when we arrived there, she was ready. I said to myself, there's not going to be a day when I stay in bed. I am not sick. Joe was learning things from the bottom up. You know, how to turn, how to eat, how to, to gain strength. Every movement has to be broken down into small increments. It's empowering the person to take control of their life. When I finally made that mental switch, I think it catapulted me into a different mindset of really thinking that I I'm going to live my life as a disabled woman, but I'm going to live my life. You know, the first days were hard, you're learning, but then as the months passed, you, she was 
anxious to take on a little bit more. But in my mind, our goal from the time we got to Craig was that you know you have to leave Craig. Everybody at Craig knew that I was getting married and that Joe was in the wedding and that was the goal. The wedding really gave me something to focus on. It was another step. Are we gonna be strong enough? Do we have the stamina? When they started down the aisle, you could see the reactions of love of all these people who were so glad she was there. Yeah, glad she was home. When we did it, it was just like, we did it. Yeah. You know, it was check off that goal. When you start doing community service or you pick a career in public service, it makes you feel like you are part of something much bigger than just a job. It also allows you to focus on something other than yourself. She brings just a great perspective. I so appreciated sitting beside her in the board meetings. To sit side by side with somebody after they've graduated, after they've succeeded, after they're back into life and they're giving back, and you hear their perspectives of what they go through on a day-to-day -day basis, it really hits you, whether that is learning okay. from what Joe brought to the table, All it's right. improving our programs. There's so many things that Joe brought back to us that allowed us to take a look at what we're doing, how can we do it better. Her strength comes from not only her, her inner self, but it comes from the support system that she has developed over the years. I'm just really proud of her, um, and I'm thankful that our paths have crossed because uh, uh, she gives a lot. When you're with Joe, you don't see a wheelchair with a woman in it. What you see is a woman who happens to use a wheelchair to get around. And that's a very different perspective. And throughout all these decisions, Craig continued to be in my life. You often hear people say that they are Craig graduates. And that means that you stay connected. Craig has the ability to recognize the possibilities that are in people instead of the limitations. The fact that she has maintained her health over the years to me is a real testament to her taking on the education that she was given at Craig. She knew how to advocate for herself. <laughs> people there know me better than almost anybody else in the world. I have shared my deepest sorrows, my happiest moments, my biggest challenges, my frustrations, and they have never batted an eye. What I've learned about Craig was just what a phenomenal organization it is in every way. There's a culture there of family. You ready for Christmas? Through the power of her personality and the spirit and that smile, all the physical stuff just melted away. You know, it was, it was Joe. And working with Joe is just working with Joe. I see her being able to show people just how much you can overcome. Joe continues to do the work every day and to contribute to all of our lives. And that's a powerful message from Joe. You know, don't stop. I will never give back as much as Craig has given me, never in my lifetime, but I will surely try.